Right, you join us in our new workshop, give them a wave, Tyler. It's not finished yet, but as you can see, it's starting to look quite cool. You can see we're gonna have the office over there. Anyway, you're not here to watch the... Right, what are we doing? We are, we've got a busy weekend plan. So, on Saturday, we are going off-roading in the Freelander 2 Off-Road Monster. And then, at the weekend, we are going camping in the Defender. And so, we need a tent. It's me and George going, not me and Tyler. And we got Will helping. Will, you've got an A-level in film studies, haven't you, Will? So the quality of this filming is going to be better. Right, there you go. You know how to use the camera, Will? I think so. Right. Okay, so we have bought an ARB Fragile Handle with Care. Zoom in on this, or move, you don't know how to zoom, do you? Oh, bloody, I had to zoom. Oh, no, I found it out, I figured it out. Sharp, these kids these days. Right then, there we go. This way up for transport, that's a part number. ARB, it's a Simpson. Roof tent with annex. It's got to have an annex, right? So we are going to unbox it. What do we know about roof tents, Tyler? Not anything. Not anything. <laughs> well, roof tents. Not a clue. Ever slept in one? I've never. Right. So I, I guess the advantage of it, they're big in them on Australia. Um, George, George, George had a theory. I've seen a few. It was because of spiders and snakes. Might be. No, but spiders just climb up. Yeah, and snakes would as well. You'd yeah. Think. Yeah. Anyway, sounds good. I, I'm not knocking in. Um, but obviously, we do, we can get the roof tent up there, and I, I think it's gonna like just open up and then be there, and you can keep all your bedding in it and stuff. So the idea is, I think, it's quick to set up. You you haven't got to find a rough bit of ground, a smooth bit of ground, and we just go up our ladder and boom, and we'll be up there. So that's the plan. But we. Can't as, as normal, we've got no idea how to yeah. Right, everyone's bored already. Only a box over. Right, we've got a box inside a box. What do you reckon? Cut down. Yeah, go on, cut down one side, Tyler. Right, that's the ladder, the second box. You've got to zoom in on the ladder. We'll show on the ladder. Right, I'll show off the ladder a little bit. But apparently you might have to get a ladder extension. I think the defender might be too tall for the ladder. Right, we've, got, we've got a box inside the box. Whoa! Oh, look at that. This is going to be strange to be like Chinese dolls. <laughs> right, where's, where's the line? There you go. We've got a box inside the box. <laughs> What's your reckon in there? <laughs> Another box. Another box. Right then. When you're unboxing stuff, always keep the box in good condition in case you need to send it back. Whoa! Oh, we've got instructions. Check this out, look Will. You can read, can't you Will? Oh, I think so. Rooftop tent owner's manual. Congratulations on purchasing your ARB Touring Rooftop Tent. The quick and easy way to enjoy camping, you see. It's all about the spree. Hold on. Hey. Hold on, what's this? Right, roof tent checklist. We've got, so we're, this will help us actually. There should be a cover, mounting rails, window rods, a bolt kit, and an instruction leaflet. Check by that person there, right. So we're gonna do that, we've got cut in to do. Direction of opening. Before you fit your, you'll need to decide whether you wish to have the roof tent off the back or off the side. Yeah, we haven't worked that out yet, have we? Anyway, you have right. off the side? Yeah, I guess you can have it come in. I guess you can have it going like, you have one bit fixed and then it sort of goes that way. Yeah. And then I think your ladder can go up. There you go, here you go, look, that's off the side. Oh so yeah. We want the ladder to go, because we could have it coming back. And I wondered if coming back over the side would give us like a shelter. Yeah, so and you could open the back of it, couldn't you? Or we could go off the side. Mm. We might go off the back. I reckon that's a smart idea. We've got no idea. Right. <laughs> right then. What we've been yakking. So let's have a look what's the feeling. How do I know if this is top and the bottom? That's the one side. We might have to read the instructions. Presumably it's got some hinges somewhere and it does some... Something. Like, oh, that, that looks, this, this looks like a hingy bit. This looks like where all the trickery happens. It's got a batch number on it. But I think this is the hinge. So I think that's going to unfold one way. But one side's going to be the bottom. The one, right. I think we better read the instructions before people get frustrated. Right. Things to think about. Right, come around here. Well, I've worked out, I think this is the bottom because we've got these four holes here, right? So we've worked out that's the bottom. Now, we've been reading the instructions a bit and there are certain advantages and disadvantages of being side mounted to 
rear opening. Right. So it is. Oh, yeah. Go on, Charlie. Are you on right back? So the hinge is at the bottom where we've got it now, so it's going to open like that. Now it's wider this way than it is this way. So we were just having a look, and it's about 144 centimetres wide. There we go, 144. And if we have a look at the top of the Defender, I was trying to work out roughly how big 144. So it is going to overhang. But what they're saying is, so you'll get slightly more wind resistance with it opening over the back because you've got the wide face facing the wind, but you will get extra room at the front of your roof rack because it's only going to come two thirds of the way. So we will have a little bit of extra room at the front. So we are going to try and go for that so that when it opens, it shelters this back area. Um, but we'll, we'll, we'll work it all out. Well, what have you got, Tyler? I think that's the, the instructions on the so these are the oh, yeah. these are the roof rails that we've got to mount, and I think these have probably got holes in them. I'm guessing here. I reckon they're going to line up with these two. Do you reckon? Yeah. How's that look, Will, from where you're sitting? I reckon that and that are going to line up. I reckon they just about will. Yeah. Oh, look, here we go. Right. Anyway, we'll get on and have a look. We'll work out the next bit. Oh, we've got we've got pe pegs. Yeah, I guess so. Right. Let's open. One thing that would be better, ARB, if you're listening, which you won't be, is it would be really cool if in the instructions you've got this list of what... It would be good if you had a little picture or in the instructions if the first page actually told you what you were getting when you unwrap it. Right, we're going, Tyler. I'll have this in. You've got that in. Let's open her up. See, I knew there'd be a little bag somewhere. You were looking... A sack of delights, what I call this. What is in our sack of delights? Love a little brown sack. Yeah, let's have a look what's going on in there. Right, loads of little clampy bits. Let's have a look what we got. See, these need to be on a picture, don't they, Will? Yeah, I think they do. Right then. We've got some little triangulary bits. Oh, look at those little ones. Good job we got a clean workshop floor. Mm -mm. So there you go, You, we have got, I don't know what you should get, we have got these little self-drilling screws. Have you seen these before, Will? Oh, I have not. They've got a little drill built into the front of a screw. Mm. So you can drill and screw all in one. Slick them. Right then. So we've got these little clampy bits. We've got four clamps, four bolts. They look nice. They look like they're stainless. How would we know if they're stainless, Will? Um, I'm not sure. How would you know if they're stainless? Check them with a magnet. Ah. Have you got a magnet to hand? We will find a magnet. Yeah, I have got a magnet to hand, actually. Right, and then they, that looks tricky. That's got some, like, wheel or something going on in there. Right. Oh, have you... Oh, Tyler's in the tent! What's happening? He's moved in. That's quite a lot of room. Yeah, that's quite a lot of room. Where's the entrance? 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 I think the entrance must be somewhere around here. Oh, no, the entrance is probably... There it is. Is that's, it I up think... under the floor or something? No, Wait, is, is there a little zip down? A little feel around. Where's, where's the entrance? Uh, one, 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 oh, there oh, it is. Yeah. Uh, does this? Oh, we've got a probably this. This bit here probably lifts up. Yeah, you got to take that out. Okay, I'll do it. You, you film, <laughs> well, otherwise everyone's going to be seen. Like, like what's going on now? Let's get ready for a little tour inside. Everyone's going to think they get a free toilet with a roof right now. Alright. Oh, look, you got your muddy boots. I've got to sleep in there oh, the no. weekend. Oh, oh T Dog. Oh, What's oh, going on? Oh. Right, so there we go. We got You got a fly screen. Do you know what they say about flies, Tyler? It's there we go. Right then. So it's going to be you and George in there, is it? It's going to be me and George, yeah. How tall are you, Tyler? 6'6". Six, 6'6". Six. Six, six. He's, he's got, got plenty room for room. Tyler. and got room for his feet, but he's got room for him. Right then. Right, let's do some more investigation. So, here we go, here we go. This picture, it's not, again, the most graphical picture, but this is the way your car is travelling, so we are moving this way. It's a little car, like, whoop, whoop, whoop. So, the roof rails, obviously, on your car go across, but the, the rails we're fitting that come with this kit need to go, basically, in the direction of travel. Now, obviously, this is for the off the back design, but obviously it will be different. The direction of travel, the roof bars, will be this way if it's gonna open off the side. 
Right, now you've got to cut the bars. Now, this, this drawing was not that technical. We weren't that impressed with that, but we've worked it out. So basically, if you're going off the side, if you come over here, well, you'll see these holes line up with these. And then when we've got that one lined up there, Tyler, right, yep. move back a bit, well, and they'll see that the extrusions line up with the end and likewise for this one. So obviously this is what's gonna, gonna go onto your roof and that's what goes down. Now, if we turn it around, which is what we're gonna do, because we're going off the back, I hope off the back's a good idea because once we cut this, we're pooped, aren't we? Right, anyway. The misorientation of this is again the bottom and the thought the entrance is there. Yes, because you've got to always look where your, your big hinge is on it, right? So basically now, I mean, we could even drop, let's drop two bolts through. So I reckon if we pop two bolts through, hopefully there's nothing through there that's going to damage anything. Mm -hmm. Right. Right, we are not going to saw through aluminium with a wood saw. We're just using it as a, as a and we are going to mark that in line with the end of that extrusion. Right then. Right then. We will mark all of those and then we'll, we'll get on to the next bit. Right, we've got this sort of worked out. So we've got these in the direction we want. Now, what's actually going to happen is these bolts are going to come up from the inside. Now on the diagram, where's this diagram? Get, you haven't seen this, have you? We'll work this out. Come round, Will. We'll teach him well. Um, why would you have diagram two, figure one, and figure two? When you just have diagram one, two, three, four, anyway. Right, it says, so this is the bolt. This is going through the, from the top, through this roof tent base, into the extrusion underneath. And it says a large washer, which I can understand because you want to spread the load. But the washer they give you as a large washer is, is not, not a large washer. Not a large washer by my book. So we have got some large washers. Um, so what that does, that comes up through, and what's really clever is this little, if you come down, this nut is going to fit into this extrusion this way. Let's have a look, whoosh, whoosh. And then we're going to slide that along, see, and then what we'll do is we will, we will, we haven't cut it yet, and I'll explain why. Then that's going to bolt up into that, and that'll stop that nut turning, and so we can just put our hand in, apparently, and wind that up. So that's what we're going to do. And then the little hole here, if you look at the top here, Will, um, that little hole there lines up exactly, and then you whack that little self-drilling, those little self-drilling screws through, and that gives it a bit more support. So bolts first. So this is what we're going to do. Right, right, right. Look at this, Will. A magnet. Oh, yeah, a magnet. Look at that. Right. Stainless so steel. No, not stainless steel. Oh, it's not stainless. That is, look. That is stainless. It's pretty stainless. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Um, but that, they've made steel. Now, I just checked all the fittings, and all the fittings, all the screws they've used are stainless, which is good. The only metal steel ferrous bit I can find is this bracket here and the ladder mounting bracket. They could have made those out of stainless, but they seem to have some sort of rust proofing. Right, so we are going to do that. No, right, now let's show you how does it clamp on the car. So I brought up a crossbar here. Oh, here we go. Right. So this is the crossbar on our roof. Okay, now upside down, it's going to be something like this. Okay, and that's going to go like that. Now, these, this tricky little system mounts here like that. So that you get one of those in, one of those. Oh. Why is it not sliding them? There you go. You've got to get the nut in the right place. Okay, these are going to go in, and what what that's going to do is that is going to bolt around that. But the problem we've got is if you look, they haven't made it wide enough for the Land Rover aero bar. So we're going to have to make up some new bits of metal straps that have got the spacing right to go over the Land Rover bits. I mean, what? Genuine. Um, sorry, yeah, this is the genuine roof rack now. What I might also do is 3D print a spacer, a plastic spacer that goes over here and follows this profile so that it spreads the load nicely and it's not, otherwise the strap's gonna, as we put the strap over here, I'm worried it's gonna start bending and the bolts are going. So we're gonna 3D print some spaces to go over there. Right, that's all good. That's what, I, here's another interesting thing. On the, which figure is it? Hold on, we gotta get this right, look. On figure, on figure one, 
they say there's washers either side. Um, these are the bolts for the ladder brackets. If you pass me the bolts for the ladder bracket, that's it. But they haven't supplied, they've only supplied one washer and it should have two on that one, two on that one and one on that one. If you pass me the other ladder bracket, and these came assembled in the, yeah. that one hasn't got any washers at all, look. So ARB, you need to supply the washers you say you need. So you should have five washers per bracket. There should be 10 small washers. So, but that's not a problem. We will find the washers and we'll get onto the ladder brackets. So, right. Now my next problem is gonna be demonstrated by Tyler here. So if we, gosh, right, let's get the ladder out. So this is gonna go on here. Now there's a couple of things to note. So the, we've got these rubber things on here, which are good. That will give it some isolation. Um, but at the back here, this bit here steps up a bit. So if I just slide along, you'll see that hit. So I don't really want to be mounting it here because then that will put some bow in it. So I want it mounted as far to the back as I can. Now the distance between these two bars is about 900, we've measured it. So it's about five centimeters gap each side. Uh, now obviously the extrusion is gonna be the other way up, like so. Right, a couple of other things. Though. So I'm wondering if I cut this to the point we marked here, and that point is level with the back there, the front, if I cut it, I'm short of this front, one of these front rails. I've got the rail I've taken out here. Now you can adjust these rails. If you look under this little bit of rubber here, there is a torque security fitting. You might have to look down a bit well, I don't know if you, um, there we go. There we go. Right, you're out of a job, Tyler. Look, he's got it. <laughs> so there's a Torx, I think it's a Torx T30 star bit fitting. You can loosen that and you can move those rails so you could, because really you want it quite close to the front. Because if you mount something in the middle too much, it's going to lift at either end. So you really want the mount in, in the four corners. So I am going to leave the front bit on. I'm going to cut the back. So that's what we're going to do. And I'm going to catch this front bar it might overhang the tent a little bit but i'd rather have that extra fitting now when you mount this up right let's get back down here right we've got two options here when we when we put these bolts through and the instructions don't tell you which way you can have the wide slot on the outside or if you spin it round, you can have the wide slot on the inside now i think to get the mounting as close to the corners as possible I'm going to advise that we mount it like that and then we have it on the outside because that's just going to spread the footprint of our mounting as far out as we can. So, right, we are going to cut the two at this, set, at this end, the hinge end, which is going to be at the back of the car. We're going to get on and cut these two. We're going to, and then we'll join you and we'll see, ah, oh, Tyler, we'll have your long arms. You're Mr. Tick, and you've got to reach in the tent with those bolts somehow and poke them up and join onto that. We've done this one, we've worked out how to do this. So we have now got our big washer. You happy that's big, Will? That's pretty big. That's pretty big, right. Pretty big, right? There you go. Right, I will, right, so you've got, right. It's then we've so got to slide the little nut in from the end of here with the blue bit uppermost. Will's walking over. Ooh, can't get it in, that's where I've cut that. Is that where I've cut it? Is it got a bit of burn? There you go. There you go, you got that. Slide him along. There are. Oh, we got. You're going all the way back, right? Yeah. All right. Let's put the second one in as well. Right. Right. Come on in, you get there. Right. Now is the now is the tricky bit. Right. Who's going? You do that end, Tyler. So you've got to work out where the curtains are, the doors are on your on your thingy and then you stick your arm in through the open gap you've got to go over the mattress that's inside we'll have a look at the mattress you got it right. oh, mattress full anyway and then you've got to go up through find a hole find a hole we on it. right one done there we go right you stay there to try that yeah. Right, and I'll go. Now this one's a bit tricky. When you go in this side, you got. Oh, you have to come around here, Will. Right, there's these bars. You need to get your hand above those two bars. Go in here above the mattress. Right, right and then hopefully. Can... 
fine. There he is. Ooh. Oh, he's, he's a bit tight. There you go, that's it. Right. Right, there we go. So we'll tighten that up. You can see that's level with the hinged edge. And we've got the bit of overhang on there. We'll get those tight. That's looking all right, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. So what have we done? We have bolted them in. We, we didn't want to go too tight. I don't think there was a spec. Can you just check on the instructions, Kyle? I don't think there was a torque specification. But you don't want to compress this composite board too much. Um, we've got the big washers on spread the load. Now, one thing that slightly concerns me, we need to watch, is that these nuts protrude past the, past the flat surface there. So as we put them on the roof rails, we need to be careful that if they line up with a roof rail, they're going to sort of dig in or make it sit higher or lower. We really want the roof rails sitting flush against here, not on that. But I think we're in a good position now to get that up to the roof. But So we need to design a wider clamp for this front clamp, don't we? Did we mention, Tyler, about drilling the back? We didn't, did we? No. Right, we'll get up the ladder again. So this one is going to go in the back. So it's going to go in the extrusion and we're going to get the strap. But we haven't got a crossbar here. So I think what we're going to do is we are going to work it out exactly and we are going to drill through the actual aluminium straight through and then we're going to put that brace across. That seems to me to be the best solution here. Now, am I going to lose my DAB reception with this roof tent, Tyler? So the aerial is put here. Can you see that, Will? Yep. I'm zooming on it. Zooming on my little shark spin uh, aerial is here. In there. there you go. And and that is cut out there to allow the radio waves to reach, and that's obviously for my phone reception and my radio reception and stuff. So and we may have some reduction in radio reception. Right, um, we are gonna work out where to drill this, and we are gonna drill this and put this clamp so we've got that front one, and then we can start getting the roof tent up onto the top. Right, so here we are on the roof. So, we have worked out where we need to drill some holes. So these are the plates that are gonna be underneath, obviously. So we need to, so what we've done is worked out the spacing of those rails. And from center to center, it was 860. Now we've worked that out backwards. And if you put your thing there and remove the little rubber bit out of your roof rack, if you measure 65 millimeters from each end, and then you can draw around that and that will give you the location for the two holes. Now we're between workshops, aren't we, Tyler? Yeah. So we haven't got a center punch, so we're gonna use a screw. We got half our tools in one place and half in the other. Right, so that should just give me enough. Oh, that's turbo. Center punch, you're out of a job. <laughs> Always professionally here, eh, Tyler? Right. So we are going to drill through here now. Now, I have put no expense spared. Some nine. Put a block of wood underneath. So as you drill through, you don't want to be going into and scratching your lovely shiny black roof. Right then. We have. So it's. A, I've got an eight millimeter drill. Yeah, I could pilot drill it first, but the aluminium. Wait. That's layer one. layer two you notice that such skill didn't even hit didn't even need my nine inch disc You're a genius someone commented on the videos the other day he said you're a butcher hmm. oh, couldn't argue with him really. <laughs> i had no defense i'm an office boy really <laughs> right then right I'll do this one. You don't need to watch us do that. We'll tidy up. And then I think we're going to be ready to come back and lift the roof on them. Eh? I will. Oh, ladder. We've got to fix the ladder. Right, we're going yeah. to work out how to fix the ladder. Right, one thing. We were talking earlier about putting the mounting points exactly in the corners. But we, we've had to consider something else. Because we're going to have it opening like this. There's going to be, when you're in the tent at that end, there's going to be an element of cantilevering going on. So that the force will be coming up on here. Um, so we decided not to put these back in the corner for partly that reason in that there will be a bit of upward force. So if we can come back this way, this can share the load with the front mounting. Secondly, the main mounts for the roof rack are here. 
So by putting them in line with this, we've got it as close as we can. This bit here is all overhanging. It's not supported really. So we put it here because we think that will give the most strength. That was our logic, wasn't it, Tyler? Yeah. Um, whether that's right or wrong, I'm not sure. <laughs> right, so we're just gonna check that these all right, and does that other bolt go? And we'll just we'll just check that, and then we'll get on and work the ladder out. Yeah, that all looks good. Right. Yeah. That's sweet. Ah, yeah. Right, we did also. This symbol here seems to indicate that the max weight on this back bit is twenty kilograms. I think this is to indicate this, and I think that's what concerned us is that you can't go putting too much weight right on the back corner here. Um, and then this here seems to say the max weight for the whole thing. I can't read that. Can you read that, Will? Uh, 130 kg. 130 kg. Now that concerns us a little because the weight of the tent and the weight of two people in there is soon going to get to 130 kilograms. But I think it's probably more to do with driving along or something. I'm not really sure. Um, now Land Rover do have a picture and they do sell a roof tent there is a catalogue for the genuine land Rover roof tent but apparently you have to order it from italy or something um bizarre but um don't mention italy hey tyler <laughs> right ladders those of us that are vertically challenged tyler need a ladder to get up into that roof right so the ladder comes with these brackets so slide on round here we'll let's have a look what we've worked out should we dob arb in for their shorty manufacturing <laughs> i think we should we should so the bracket is supposed to be like this look notice how this rib goes central to the peak there look at this one oh yeah he's all off over there but i don't think it's going to affect the ladder but sharpen your pencil we'll give them we'll give them the tip on how to do it how would you do it if you laser cut a little slot in here when you laser cut this and laser cut a little dog on the bottom of that little fin then when you slot them together the peg will go into the slot and hold it there while you weld it and then it won't go oh, that right. Oh. right the other thing we're a little bit worried about is when we bought this here, there's nothing supporting the back end of that bracket. It'd be nice to have just a little bit of extra support under there so all the force isn't going on that. Right, everyone's bored of me now. <laughs> right, grab right your box. So, oh. ARB didn't give us enough washers. We mentioned that earlier. Right, so we have our own washers. So you take a bolt, you put a washer on it. Shove it in. Stainless steel bolts, thumbs up for that. Right, then you've got to find the zip in here. Come around here, we'll have a look. Where's the zip? There's a zip there, look. Ah, and then we open it, it. And then and then if you you can fumble around in there. That's what we're in, Tyler, aren't huh? mm. Right, and then we put that up. And then another washer on there, please, Tyler. Spread the load. Spread the love. Ooh, oh, sweaty hands. Butter fingers. Butter fingers. Mm. Right, we'll just get this roughly assembled. Right, yeah, I'll do the upper. Washer, washer. Wash, wash it. Oh, look at that. That makes sense. Can I do? Ah. Yeah. Right, then. There we go. Oh, come on. Same. Right, washer, wash it. There you go. Right. It's a good job I got doors on every side of this tent <laughs> and then we've been pooped. Right then. Right, there we go. Oh, you're going to make the old two at once, eh? We noticed one cool thing, didn't we? When they made the extrusion for this aluminium, um, they put a little groove in it and all their fittings go on that groove, which we thought was cool. We like that, didn't we, Will? We did like that. I'm just showing it off right now. Yeah. We need more of that. Get into the groove, Will. Do you recognise those lyrics <laughs> from a favourite song, Will? Can't lie, I don't. You don't? I don't. <laughs> don't know Madonna? Get into the groove, because you've got to prove your love to me. I think Madonna's a bit past my generation. Is she? Oh, you say that well. <laughs> right then, we'll get a spanner and get those tight. I'm going to put a wash. We've got loads of washers, haven't we? Never go wrong with a washer. Right. Oh, he's got washers. Right, and then you put the spacer in between. Right, come to the other side. We'll have another. <laughs> We have another washer on there as well. Yeah. We got room, haven't we? We got to make sure we got enough length for that thread lock to, to engage that neither. Oh, now I wonder, Tyler. We might be fighting each other here. We'll have a look. Because these don't really want to be that tight. Because as long as we can, if we go too tight. Remember to move the ladder.
You looking good? Yeah. I mean, not are you looking good, Tyler? I mean, are we working all right then? Tyler's always yeah, looking good. Oh, yeah, easy yeah. now. So yeah, this is just that little black space. It's, I think it's doing two things. I think it sort of reduces the friction as you open the ladder and it also acts as a spacer. Because if you look down here, see that bracket nearly catches on this plastic bit here. If it didn't have that spacer, it would catch on that upright. Now again, you don't need to do those tight. As long as the nylon bit is on the end of the thread, we're all good. Ladders all fitted. Time. So I think I think these these little yeah you need to pull those up. Ah, ah I'm saying. Oh yeah, I reckon that. When you, when you want to get it down from your uh, roof, you have to do this first, and then you, you have to flip first. that over, do you? Yeah. Right, we forgot. Here's us criticising. Made a mistake. Right then, we forgot the little stainless steel self-drilling screw. So we've got a little hole. Will you want to zoom in on that little hole there? I'll show you the little hole. Which is perfectly lined up with that little groove. It's your homework tonight where you've got to listen to Madonna. Get into the groove. Oh. <laughs> Woo! That took some doing. Right, we'll get on and do the rest of those. So do those before you put it on the roof. Right, just had a little problem. Tyler, I left Tyler have a go, and we snapped the head off one of the screws in there. So um, I'm gonna suggest, if you're doing that, pilot drill for the sake of it, because yeah. they did take a lot of drilling through, didn't they? It looks like it's like a double layer of aluminium here. So I would suggest pilot drilling those, just to be on the safe side. Right, we've got another screw, we've drilled it out, we're back on the, we're back in the game. Right, carry on. Job done. Good as new, no one will ever know nope. time. Right, one little trick we developed on the other side, because you need to take a bit of weight as you guide those bolts coming down. And what we've done is we just got, if we just get a little bit of wood, I don't want to trap anything. There you go, that's all right, Tyler, no, I'm all good. Right, and what that allows me to do is, with modest force, I can just give Tyler enough room there to slot him. So if you get to the back and what, what he's doing well. A little bit more, a little bit more. Mm. Now you've got to try and line those up with those two holes in that platform, and you might be able to see it well. Um, no. No. Mm, I, I might be able, yeah, you can see him just there. Yeah. I need to move it over. Right, with some jiggery pokery, we do have that in. You can see the two bolts hanging down there. We are now going to put the plate on those two bolts. Might be a bit dark, I'll get my hand out of the way in a minute. Okay, see that well? You can see it. Okay, now get the two nuts on. Get the two dog nuts on there. They're getting the. Um, they're being held in position by the extrusion. Right, so that's that, that's all ready to tighten now. So we will publish the new dimension. We're a little bit out on that dimension there on those bolts. And the 65, I think was, I, put, I measured it to the center of the holes, but then I put the bracket sideways. So I will recalculate what that should be. Right. Um, here we go. So that's that. Right now we need to do the front. So let's let's get ready and we'll show them the front. Right, we are now on to the front. So we have got to slide this extrusion, this little bit into the extrusion, and then we've got a strap that goes. Now I've already put one of these in, and then we've got the two nuts to go on. So you, you've got as long as you haven't tightened those, you've got enough to lift it, and you can see the one I've got in there possibly right in there. There we go. Yeah, and then that just slides in the front there. Do, 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 do. And then we've got a strap that we've made longer now. This one's only plastic. We will get these laser cut in stainless and that. And we'll, we'll also get those 3D printed spaces. That goes under there like so. You got that one? Boy, I say coming off the step. Yeah, right there. Uh, uh. 
Right, we'll do the same on the other side. And that's all the four mounts done. So we are now ready to try and let the tent down. One thing I'm not sure about is whether the ladder is gonna be long enough on the Defender. Right, one thing we noticed is that this, what we tried to design is to design it so that these bits come right up to the back so that it's an end stop. Now, because I haven't tightened the nuts under here, it still can slide in that extrusion. So let me just move the other side, we'll watch that. So you're looking here, yeah, to close up this gap. Yeah. There we go. There you go. So now we know it's square on the car. If we know those both back, and we know that as we pull it back, it's, it's got that end stop. So we'll tighten those nuts up now. Right, we are nearly ready to split it over. It looks like there's just about enough room there. We've learned a couple of things. Now, if you come here and have a look here, well, you will notice we have scratched it. Well, you spotted it, didn't you, Will? Oh, I know. Shame. So if you are doing this, it might be worth covering the back of your roof rack here because as you push it on and slide it, there's a chance there and I've done the same on that side. I'll put a bit of black paint on, no one will ever know. Um, right, other than that, we're not looking too bad, are we? We've sort of run out of length at the front as well, though, haven't we? So mm. if you come and have a look at the front here, yeah, let me slide the step on. Right, it was what we've got. We've got a situation where you may have to adjust the position of your front rail there because you can see now it's not fully overhanging that front rail so we may need to adjust that but we will need to adjust that remember we didn't cut those down if we'd have cut it down it'd be even further back but we'll have a look at that in more detail right let's have a go at the big reveal shall we see if she'll go over right one thing we have worked out is that on the defender you cannot open the ladder with your back door there because as you come down your spare wheel stops your ladder so you'll see as i do this because you need to be able to go, right, here we go. All right, watch my new ceiling tiles. Yeah, you're good. All right, now once this in the upright position, I guess you have to, at some point, start pulling. Click, don't you? Right. There we go. And then, and shouldn't that, will the ladder be long enough? I reckon it'll either just about fit or not. Just about, <laughs> not really. So I think there's a ladder extension, so we'll get and see if there's any ladder extensions left in the country. Failing that, we're gonna have to have a little step. We'll have to have a little step. We should better emulate the little step. Right then, so I think, so we'll go and get the extension, but that should be, we noticed this, didn't we? Look at this, your little shoe pockets look sewn in. Hey, so, so people as you can get in your tent, sure So at night, right. someone can come over and just <laughs> take them. This, or is this all gonna go horribly wrong? Oof, be um, careful. But, right, this video isn't gonna be a how to use your, because all this, is all this gonna There's an extension as well. Look at that, there you go. And then I'm in. Oh. Right, so we haven't worked, we haven't worked a lot out, have we, Will? <laughs> We've so not got far. Out. We are going to end this video here. This is putting the ARB Simpson roof tent on your Land Rover Defender 110. A sort of, now I'm not sure if that's an official way, but it's a way we're working on doing it. And we'll test it. So you just want to have a sort of peruse around, Will. Have a little walk around the Land Rover. Have a look. See how it's looking. Looks um, right on there, doesn't it? Is that look right? Let's have a, it's a bit. And we've, we've still got some roof rack left, which is the advantage of putting it this way. Um, this is this can all come out and tie out as we need. Um, yeah, that, that hinge hasn't locked yet, but until I get that front plate mounted on, I'm a bit reluctant to, to start climbing in it until I've got that front metal strap mm -hmm. across. Um, right, yeah, we'll do another video on how to use it all and get it set up. But that, it seems all right, doesn't it, Will? It's all right. It's all right. Right, good luck with that. Right, Will just said, yeah, but can you close the door? We've had to open the door to get the ladder out. And it's a good question, but it's almost made for the job, isn't it? Just fits. It's just there, there we go. Look. And then the advantage of it, I think, is the fact that if you need to get stuff out your car and it's tipping with rain, 
We've got, got all this. Come around this side, where we've got all this sort of room. Whoa! That's all protected and dry. So nice little shelter. Nice little shelter. That'd be cool. Yes. Right. Good it's luck. All right.